I guess there's one possible answer to that question. I think is that like it's, it's similar to um, like you know, it's a, a popular sort of like academic like quotation. You know, race is a social construct, right? And this idea that you know race isn't real. You know, it's like something so I made up, but it's exper but experientially it is real, right? So you feel it, right? And so I think similarly, I think that even if like everyone <laughs> wants to say, okay, like I'm Muslim, I'm American, and I'm and I'm proud, you know, I think the position of the individual or the community might be empowered, but that doesn't mean that the sort of like broader sort of like the state and sort of different things that you interact with are immediately going to accept that. So I still think what's going to be left to do, right, is about the, the work of sort of like building an America where what you know is true, everybody else knows is true too. So I, think, I mean, for me personally, I feel like part of the thing, even this whole conversation about Americans, Muslims, and culture is about sort of what am I doing here and how do I contribute to where I live? as a human being, as a Muslim, right? So if I believe, so if, if, I'm, if I live here and I'm invested in this kind of this place, right? If I'm invested in this state, then my job, right, is to make sure that it reflects these values that sort of are being promoted. Everyone is telling, you know, pe people come here for you know, all these kind of things about sort of d democracy, liberty, truth, all those kind of things, but, but we don't experience it, right? So even if I, because I personally, just as an individual, personally speaking, because of the way I was raised and where I was raised, I don't feel conflict. Mm -hmm. Like that's just not my reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that doesn't mean when I walk into a grocery store, you know, when I walk into a panel discussion, you know, I was recently I did a moderated uh, an event in New York a couple days ago, and this woman, she's like, "Oh my God, you're so wonderful!" And the way she said it was like she had this surprise in her voice, as if I mm -hmm. couldn't have done that. Now I didn't know if it was because I was black. I know it was because I was mostly. Yeah, who knows what her reasons were, right? <laughs> so. But I don't have this problem. But I deal with a world that may still define me in that way. So, so I'm still going to confront that. But internally, I, I don't have the conflict. So I think the work that's going to have to be that's still to do is about sort of like trans, translating sort of your inner state <coughs> to have sort of external ramifications. 